Let's see what I picked up from the IHS Manchester show. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals with me, Phil. And as I just said, I've just got back from the IHS Manchester Reptile Show. It was the first one held in Manchester. Um, we're going to the reasons, I'm sure most of you know anyway, why I uh, had to leave Doncaster and now it's now in Manchester. There were a few teething problems with the show, um, but this video is going to be my pickups of what I've got. Um, got a few things, not a huge amount of lifestyle, I didn't really go with a huge amount of money. Um, but I've got some other things as well for some projects that are coming up. So, uh, let's go ahead and have a look. So, kind of first things first, um, got some substrates. Uh, so, from... Buzzard Reptiles, I've actually got two bags, so this is their beetle bed, um, so for my beetles, uh, things like cockroaches and stuff, I'm going to try this out, uh, see what it's like as an option, uh, you know, for people that perhaps can't get out to a forest to collect, you can of course just collect stuff from the forest and stuff, especially if you have landowners permission to make sure you got that, so um, I sometimes can't always get out, so I like to have some in stock, if, just in case I run out, so got two bags of that. And from MK Exotics Horticultural Supplies, I've got a bit of a bundle. Um, hopefully by the time this video comes out, uh, I can officially say that I'm an affiliate uh, of MK Exotics uh, Horticultural Supplies, or I will become an affiliate there. And hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'll have all the links and everything um, for you guys um, to go over to the website and check it out. But... Um, it might there sort out me a bundle of stuff to do up a tank that I need to redo. It's one you haven't seen on the channel uh, before. So we've got uh, some substrate for it. So sort out me uh, this bag of his substrate that is called Jungle Den. So, so I'm going to try that. I've never tried this one before uh, from him. Um, so we'll see how that is. As well as a couple of bags to mix in of his grubs den. As I'm thinking of doing basically a, a large kind of mixed invert enclosure, perhaps some millipedes, maybe some beetles and stuff. So I've got two bags of this to go in. And then also um, a whole bunch of plants uh, as well. So um, what we've got here, which he normally does as kind of uh, three for £10 normally. I did get a bit of a discount from him, but I've got a Fetonia, uh, Fikey Spoonula, and I forgot the name of this one here, but some nice... Uh, Kind of smaller plants, but they get a decent size. So, also got um, uh, two pots of cushion moss, and you can just collect moss. Um, again, if you've got lands permission, where you don't collect too much at the same time, around my way, all the moss is just dead and uh, basically there's nothing growing at the moment. So, so, got some cushion moss, and then a couple of larger plants as well. Um, as it's a fairly t it's a tall extra terror, it's a 60 tall that they're going to go into. So golden pothos, uh, this will climb and go around. This will hopefully get nice and tall. So great bit of different structure. The other plants will be going in from cuttings and stuff. Uh, from my own stuff, I've actually got a plant from a previous show. Uh, from and they'll probably go in as well as scandons. So, and then well, on to the livestock. So livestock wise, I got. Uh, saw Nick from Shropshire Exotics, uh, great to meet him. He kind of gave me these uh, Porcelio and Canis uh, ice pods. They are small, I'll try and get some closer footage of these guys. Um, there's, I believe there's 10 in here roughly, give or take, um, probably a few more. But like I said, they are fairly small. I'll try and get some closer footage if I can. I'll have them pulled up over the top. Um, also, the main ones I got from him in here, again, these are fairly small. Um, Hey, done me a deal on these. These are uh, uh, Crist Armadillidium uh, Miracartum or the spiky isopods. Now, again, I don't know if you'll really be able to see them too much. Um, yeah, I'll try and get some, you know, some footage of these guys. It's late over the top as well because these guys, are, for me, I absolutely love these guys. Uh, I think they're really, really stunning. Just see some white bits running around there. They don't necessarily get big, but they're spiky. They have little spikes on them. How amazing is that? So, uh, so I've got uh, 10 of those, two lots of five. Um, and I say they're doing quite a good deal on those. Then, uh, from the spider shop, 
Remember, I do have a link for Spy Shop uh, down in the description, uh, affiliate link. So, can you go and do your shopping and then I get a little bit of commission at no extra cost to you. And they'll be hopefully the same uh, when I get the links for MK Sausix. These guys, the Carnifex or Candy Pill Bugs. So, I've got uh, six of these. They're not sexed. It's really difficult to sex these guys as they just roll up in a tight ball. Fingers crossed. I mean, they're really difficult uh, to try and breed. I'm not entirely sure if anyone has ever bred these guys. I'm going to give it a go, see how we get on. Um, my mum actually got another species um, of these guys, which I was tempted with as well. Um, so we're going to give it a go, kind of together. And then if we do, we'll uh, swap over. Things about, yeah, there's six of these in here. How stunning they look. Absolutely so. Now they're going to be coming off this. Koya will be no good for them whatsoever. Um, they'll be going on to prob probably using the uh, uh, the buzzard um, substrate that I've got actually for them, mixed with some topsoil or something. And then the last two things uh, I got, uh, well, actually, these were some of the first things I got actually, really, but from uh, Steve's Animal Arc. Uh, there's a few people that had these. Um, Steve Animal Arc had these. Uh, a Spy Shop account got these as well. Venom Divisions got these at the moment too. Um, I had these before, but I've got another pair, and these are a young pair of the Cosmoderus crickets, the Fawny crickets. So you look at those guys. So as I say, it's a young pair, they'll get hopefully double the size that they are now. And um, yeah, so I was out in the chat with Steve, uh, apparently he's bred them before in the past. Uh, so he told me how he done it, um, so I'm going to give that a go. And see, because uh, again, not many people have bred these guys at all. I came close um, last time with my last pair, uh, but not quite close enough. So I'm hoping that with a younger pair, I might have more success. And I think obviously, uh, when I got the others, they got the others as adults, so you don't know how old they were. Uh, these guys are young, uh, at least younger. So they're at least, well, you know, at least another mole, a couple of molts, hopefully. And hopefully they'll mop successfully. <clears throat> so yeah, that was uh, that's my pickups. That's all I got uh, from the show. It's not a huge, huge amount, but again, uh, didn't really take a huge amount of money with me. Uh, got another show coming up later on this month. Got the uh, the Eastern Invertebrate Show uh, down in, or <clears throat> across in Bedford. Kind of my local show. It's only an hour for me. If you go into that, uh, do let me know. So do come and say hi. But did you go to the Manchester show? Uh, if you did, what did you think uh, to the show? There's certainly some improvements that need to be made. And uh, I just have acknowledged that there are improvements um, and that they're going to address those for the November show. So hopefully they do. Um, as I've one of main, I think one of the main issues a lot of people had, at least a lot of our traders had, was that a lot of us were that are the regular ones, but in was kind of the second hall that basically none of the punters, none of the, you know, the buyers that are coming in tend to seem to know about. Uh, there was no sign there saying there's another hall coming this way for for your dry goods, for your equipment, uh, for your plants and stuff. Um, so that was a bit of an issue. Um, and there's some other things as well. But like I say, some things are more venue related, some things on the IHS front. Um, so there was a few teething problems. Uh, again, hopefully they'll sort those out uh, for the November show. And hopefully they'll be a lot better. Um, obviously, we're you kind of used to what it was like at Doncaster Racecourse, which was a fantastic venue for it. It's just a shame that it cannot be held there anymore. So, um, but yeah, there are my pickups. So, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, pop some comments down below. Again, let me know if you went. If you went, what did you get? Um, and so, uh, be great to see what you got. So, and if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. Uh, please remember as well, go into the description, check out all my other links. I've got the Instagram, TikTok, got my merch store, got uh, the affiliation link for Spy Shop and again, hopefully for MK Exotics uh, as well, um, as well as my Patreon account. And uh, thank you uh, to uh, well, my first Patreon. So, um, so, but until next time, guys, take care, stay safe, and keep rocking.